I don't see any point in holding out any longer. We're a little bit late tonight. Apologize about that. But uh, yeah, let's get started, shall we? Load. We are stream 6.5. Let's go, dude. What were we doing last time? I think we were just exploring, trying to get some levels maybe because gal, so if you could hurry this up that's one ugly outfit. hi you're ugly <laughs> people are rude um yeah i don't think there was like anything specific we were trying to do at the moment hey mr noodle um were we questing at all we might have been doing a quest there is a possibility we were doing that if the game ever wants to load I don't know why it does that sometimes, where it's just super slow to load. Actually, I bet what it is is because I'm recording as well, and it's on the same hard drive. That's probably what it is, now that I think about it. Uh, but anyways, quests. I'm to find and kill four Telvani agents responsible for thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Mine. Right, we tried that. We were way too weak to do it. Um, and an Argonian on the road. Okay, we know what that one is as well. But again, we die when we try to do it. Uh, don't know where we need to take her still. M. Kalaya. Uh, we'll find that at some point. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the... the Whatchamacallit, the bandit that the lady fell in love with. He wants to kill someone. And Vivek, we're just trying to stay away from. Because holy hell... Does Vivek confuse me to no end, dude? Like, it is terrible. Jokobo, what's up, dude? Anamusha, I... We... No. No. We haven't played that one, right? <laughs> now I'm like... Now I'm second-guessing myself here. I, I thought... For some reason, I was thinking we played that. But no, we must not have. Surely we would remember if we had... Also, I was watching a tiny bit of somebody play Morrowind. I was trying to find... <laughs> I was trying to find a uh, good playlist of just, like, somebody that's played through Morrowind. Because I do enjoy watching, like, Bethesda games be played and stuff like that. And I found one, and it was okay. But the guy wasn't exactly my style. Not saying anything bad about him or anything like that. Um... But wasn't quite my style. And sadly, the people that I usually watch that play, like, Bethesda games and whatnot, they have not played more when that I'm aware of. No. Okay, it's not on the list, so we must not have. Two, three. Oh, my God. Okay, so there's <laughs> Warlords, Dawn of Dreams, Blade Warriors. I don't know which one of them is the first one. And then you have two and three. <laughs> but no, we haven't played any of them yet. I must have just been looking at the game or something like that. I don't know why it uh seemed to me that we had played it. Oh, but anyways, the whole point of all of that. I uh, When I was watching him, he mentioned that you can actually, any of these menus here, you can actually pin them to the screen so they'll stay there whenever you're going about doing your stuff or whatever so like for most of these i don't really see the point of that although sometimes having this one pinned might be handy just so we can easily like change our magic and stuff like that um but more to the point having the mini map up there in the corner or just the map in general up there in the corner i thought would be pretty handy for trying to figure out where the hell we're going Love the aesthetic of Onimusha. Game is rough, though. I mean, it couldn't have been too bad, right? There's apparently five of them. So, like, it apparently at least did pretty well, if nothing else. So I can't even remember 100% what the game is. I thought I had known, but... I learned something else, too, but I don't remember... If I learned it before the last stream or after, I think it was after the last stream of this, the charge up time, like whenever you charge this, you only have to go until the animation finishes, I guess, from what I was reading. And uh, what it actually does, so if we look at our weapon here, this was news to me, It, we look at our weapon, a chop or slash does 1 to 30 damage, anywhere between 1 and 30. If we just spam the attack like this, it'll do roughly one damage, right? If we do half the animation like that, 
it'll do roughly 15. If we charge it all the way up, wait for the animation to go all the way back and then let go, it'll do roughly 30. Um, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know you actually had any control of any kind over the damage rolls. I thought it was 100% random. But uh, no, it all depends on your charge up time, apparently. So I've been led to believe at least. <laughs> Could be wrong, I guess, but <laughs> we also have a side quest, I think, to kill those things. But uh, surprise, surprise, when we try, we die. That's kind of our, our theme that we got going here. So to the best of my memory, what we were actually doing is we were just trying to go around and murder a bunch of stuff so we could get some levels. Like this Nick sound here. Hello, friend. Nice. Well, I mean, all these guys are dying easily enough. It's the, the humanoids, man. The humanoids really get us. And then that big dude there. The little guy, from what I remember, we didn't struggle with too much. We could deal with him. But the big guy was a whole nother thing. Also, another thing I should do instead of walking is sneak. Because whenever you sneak, you still gain your stamina back. Um, like you do when you walk. But it actually increases your sneak skill. Unlike walking. Come on, dude. Don't. Oh, that was too close. Next leather, thank you. Uh, we're not gonna touch you. You are <laughs> bad. Oh, and that's I forgot about that. Another thing I'm considering doing, considering since this is our first playthrough of the game, and I'm still learning it and everything, I think I'm going to uninstall the uh, injuries mod because that is making the game unnecessarily hard for us. Like right now, those two little injuries we got that has cost us 13 points of strength. That's a lot, man. <laughs> when you only have 54 strength, losing 13 is a ton. So uh, I think I'm going to uninstall that one, actually. I uh, just remembered about that. So we're just going to do a quick save here um, because whatever. This won't take long, I promise. Uh, thankfully, I still have this open here. Open the launcher. Go to data files. And then I just got to find it. It's here somewhere. Bodily injuries. There it is. That should be the only one. I don't think I have any, like, patches that work with bodily injuries or anything weird like that. Okay. Play. Now, hopefully that doesn't break anything. Like, since we had injuries, and then we saved the game, and then we removed the mod, hopefully it doesn't do anything weird like those injuries are permanent or something. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I know errors may occur. If we have problems, we can always go back, but... Okay, so... Our strength is back up at 54, so the injuries are gone. I think... I think we're Gucci. Right, do we have... That's the standard. Don't we have, like, shitty... Restore health potions somewhere? Or did we end up drinking all those? There it is. Cheap. Cheap restore health. Give me that. I'm not even going to try with the big guy right now. I lied. I'm going to try with the big guy. I'm going to drink a potion first. Before we go into battle. And then come here, you big guy. Can I even hit you from down here? I legit don't know if I can even hit him from down here. He can hit me, that's for sure. God, we really can't jump very high, can we? Okay, I'm I'm seriously thinking we cannot hit him. Bro. <laughs> okay. Run away! <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think we can hit him, man. Is it because we're just, like, too low? Or, like, did we just get really unlucky? Once our stamina ran out there, uh, like, stamina does play a big role in how well you can hit things. 
So like not too surprising once our stamina started to run out, but before that How far do things chase you in this game? Will they just chase you forever? They might I don't honestly know Okay, well we seem to outspeed him at least the Only problem now is like anything we come across can can murder us uh, Keep running. Nope. Nope. No, you don't Hi. Uh, dispose of corpse. He's still coming. <laughs> he never stops, dude. These things literally just chase you forever. Is that? <laughs> that holy shit, man. Um, dude, we are so far away from where you're supposed to be. Why are you still following me? We might just be SOL. Bro, and since he can, like, fly, he just... I don't think there's any, like, tricking him, you know? Because in other Bethesda games, a lot of times you can use the terrain to your advantage. Because the meshes aren't always perfect for the for the pathfinding. But um, since this dude flies, I don't think he really has that problem. What is this? Have we been there before? <laughs> He's still coming. I would love to kill all these random things, but, uh, I don't think we can fight anything right now. Oh my god, dude. Leave me alone, my guy. Go away. We might just have to accept death from him, dude, <laughs> honestly. Unless we can, like find a guard or something like that like if this is a town is this a town this doesn't look like a town hey, it's another one of these places okay we still don't know like what any of that is oh good there's a rat too surprisingly there's no one in here trying to murder me right away I did expect there to be to be honest this place just empty hello are you angry you're oh you're angry <laughs> okay that's fair I <laughs> look we were dead anyways let's be honest dude as soon as that large nef netch decided it wanted us dead, we were dead. There was no real coming back from that. Alright. Now let's actually explore. Just leave him alone, apparently. Should probably still take our health potion, though. At least the cheap one. And keep training our skills. Gotta jump. Gotta sneak, gotta hit things. What is this? Did we kill this? Or was this already over here? Not remove this corpse, weird, okay. Must be like quest related in some way or something. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Tried to do a little bit better about not picking up literally everything. Most stuff still, obviously. <laughs> Don't need literally every little item, though. Hi, friend. Okay, I'm trying to let my stamina rebuild a little bit. I don't know if there's any penalty to fighting while stealthed. I'm assuming not, other than the fact that you can't move as quickly. But I'm not positive. There might be sneak attacks in the game, too. I don't know. Like, if you stealth up behind someone and then smack the hell out of them. I wish I knew what this symbol meant. I thought that symbol meant we were being watched, but maybe that means we're hidden. Because, like, unless God is watching right now, there's, <laughs> there's nobody around us to catch us with what we're doing. 
You said hi, friend, right when I dropped my phone and Charlotte walked up to it. She's saying hello. Where were all those things at? There's a rat. We can fight the rat. Come here, dude. This might be a good opportunity to... I wish arrows auto-equipped. Their arrow drop? I actually don't know. Well, that got your attention. Oh, that <laughs> that was a terrible shot. Dude, can <laughs> any of our arrows hit? I'm assuming we only get experience when we hit something. That would make the most sense to me. Ah! Hey, Rue, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome, dude. Welcome to the shit show, honestly, because we suck at this game, man. And we just need to find more stuff to kill. Is this, this looks like some sort of little community. You're not mean, right? I'm waiting. Hello. Some hostile mud crabs dragged off one of my... Oh, I know where they are. There's a pair of them that's been hunting my guard. Just the other day, they killed one and dragged it off. They usually come from the coast to the southwest. Nate, thank you so much for the resub, dude. Also, hello, hello. Guess who more than likely got quiet fired from KFC? So, like, they just completely stopped giving you shifts now, then? And guess whose Twitch is having problems today? Big surprise there, right? Uh, well... <laughs> That's shitty, though, dude. Uh, I might have to sell what I still got and move back to Tear. It's also called Dre's, since it's the home of House Dre's. Too hot for me, though. It's practically in Argonia. Okay, tell me more about the hostile mud crabs. You killed the mud crabs that were bothering my guar. Thank the tribunal. I might not have to move back to Terra after all. You look tired, stream the barbarian weenie. Can I offer you some hackle, low? Sure... I don't know what that is. Is that... Are those drugs? Did she just give us drug drugs? What is Hackle Low? Oh, it did something. Restore fatigue for three seconds. So not much. <laughs> okay, well... Went to get your schedule only to not find your name on it. Oh, so like literally not scheduled at all. That's shitty, dude. Well, I guess that solves the problem of you uh, leaving and finding a new job, right? Like <laughs> they kind of made that decision for you. No one knows until I point it out and even text your GM. So I'm going in tomorrow to ask his baby mama why I'm not. <laughs> oh God. I don't like these flying people, dude, because I, I literally can't tell. Like, can I hit you? Do I need to jump to hit you? I don't know how this works. You're so far away. Also, you kind of hurt. I'm not going to lie. You decide to set up your little guar farm in a dangerous place. Well, since I helped you out so much, you probably won't mind if I, like, camp here, right? Because it's looking pretty dark out, honestly. I don't know. It's only 12 p.m., but like, oh, damn it, dude. Well, we might be dead anyways. Come on, please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Oh, my God, dude. Okay. Um. The health potions work pretty well. We have another one, right? Standard health potion. So I'd rather not go back to bed already in game. Oh shit, yeah, those actually heal a lot of health. Not quite a full bar, but pretty close. Okay, well hey, I'm glad I could help out this lady. Did she give us anything for helping her? I don't think she did, actually. Literally did this before I even gave them my two-week notice. Literally had the notice in my hand. <laughs> oh, and there it goes. Son of a bitch, dude. Twitch needs to get their shit together, man. 
for real though. <laughs> like, why? Why is it always like this, man? Owned by one of the largest companies in the world. Constantly have problems with their servers. Like, or we just get really unlucky with it. One or the other. Maybe both. Bro, I wouldn't even do that. I would just give them the two-week notice and get out. Like, honestly, not worth it, man. What do we have? Oh, the Ring of Medusa's Gaze. I forgot all about that. That's actually really good. Oh, target resistant magic? What a bitch, dude. Get wrecked. I'll take your meat, please. Took pictures of it being on the desk open and closed to prove I put it there. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm happy you're getting the hell out of there, though. To be honest. All jokes aside and shit like that. But... Sounds like a shitty place you're better off not being at. I just can't wait until we can actually, like, reliably hit things in general. I think it's our... What, our agility? Yeah. Our agility is probably what needs to go up now. Because our strength is decent. Our axe skill is decent. But our agility is pretty low. So whenever we get a level up, I think that's what we need to focus on. It's just getting our agility up as much as possible, honestly. Which I don't know. So I did learn a little bit more about how the leveling system works in general in Morrowind. Apparently, the skills that you level up, like the skills that you level up, determine what multipliers you get whenever you spend your points. Um, so if you level up agility based skills then whenever it comes time to to put points and stuff you can get up to i think it's up to a five times multiplier on your actual like attributes or whatever you want to call them so useful information i'm not sure if i can really use that all that well myself Seeing how I'm completely inexperienced with the game and shit, but it's still good info to, to have to know. I do always feel a little bad for killing the scribs, because I kind of like the scribs, dude. They're nice. Our water flask is empty. It's fine, we sell the water jug. Take two drinks, and I'm not sure when the last time we ate is, but I'm sure we're probably getting hungry, or at least close to it. So we should have some food, right? Let's eat some hearty meat, man. We've been doing all this traveling and shit. We deserve some good food. Five extra strength? I will gladly take it. Thank you. Fuck that place. I second that. <laughs> I don't work there. have never worked there. But I second that. Fuck that place, dude. Sounds like a shitty place. Bruh, do you know what happened to me at work today? I don't know exactly how it happened exactly. I'm saying exactly a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't know how it happened. Hold on. I'm going to have to. What did I just do? I just accidentally clicked something on OBS. And one of my panels are gone now. And I'm not sure what, which one it was. It couldn't have been that important, right? Because <laughs> I don't know which one it was anyways. Anyways. Okay. Hold on. I need to switch my cameras. Uh, deactivate, activate, oh, no, deactivate that one, activate that one. Oh, it's big, it's big me, that's okay, big me will work for a moment. So, like, I was just walking around, stalking some shelves and shit, no big deal, and I start to get a pain in my right arm. On camera, it probably looks like my left arm, um, but it was my right, it's my right arm, because I think the camera is flipped. Right? Because this is my my left. This is my right. And on screen... Oh, no. I guess it's right. Yeah, I guess it's right on screen. Anyways. Point is... Wow, it looks so much grainier whenever it's blown up like that. And point is... So, like, all of a sudden, I get a pain in my right arm over here. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, I, I stock the, the box that I had in my hand. And I pull up my sleeve and look at my arm. 
and like look at that dude <laughs> look at my fucking arm <laughs> what happened to my arm <laughs> It was, like, really swollen here and here. Um, but the swelling has pretty much evened out now. But you can see, like... Like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see, like, a purple... Very bright purple ring here. Deep purple. Very deep purple ring here. And then all the blue from it going out. Like, got a fucking... Like, hematoma, I guess, would be the, the technical name for it or whatever. But, like, this big-ass bruise... <laughs> you dingus how... I don't know. I didn't do anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't do anything. I didn't get hit in the arm. The only thing I can think is that, like, when I went to to get some of the, the stuff to work, there was uh, one of those big air conditioner things in my way. So, like, I did move the AC, right? Like, I picked it up and I moved it. So, that's the only thing I can think is that maybe when I picked up the AC, the, uh... Um, because, like, I picked it up with two arms, right? But then I carried it with one. So the only thing I can think is that somehow I must have popped a couple of the, uh, blood vessels in my arm there. Because it is, you probably couldn't see it on camera, but it is right, it follows right along a, uh, vein that I have. A, a pretty prominent vein that I have in my arm. Um, two of them. And it's, like, right on that vein. So, like, I must have, I must have just popped it, dude. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know how. I, I have no fucking clue at all. It, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he said I was literally just stalking a box and then like, ow, my arm hurts. Just finish stalking, pull up sleeve. Oh, that's why <laughs> my arm's fucking swollen and purple. <laughs> it's not normal. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. I also at work yesterday got two blisters made two blisters on my hand one here on my thumb on my my right thumb you probably can't see that on on camera at all i imagine because they're small and then another one here so uh it's been it's been a good time at work for me lately honestly things have been going things have been going really well you hurt your arm today too how'd you hurt your right arm as well nate what did you do my guy you know i'm looking at the art on like the blade or just the just looking at the texture on the blade and, like, it doesn't look realistic at all, but it looks pretty cool. You see, like, it's got a face on it, dude. The axe does. Never noticed that before. It's cool art. It's nice. It's stylized, I guess, is what you would call it. It's cool. It's good stuff. Text me saying I broke my arm. I did break my arm. Do you see my arm? That is broken. <laughs> my arm broke. I don't know what happened, but my arm broke, man. It's terrible. Trauma root. Hmm. Traumatizing. Hello, Scrib. Come here, buddy. Get wrecked. See, if we could just hit that big netch as easily as we hit all these other things, we wouldn't have any problems, dude. Our damage output's pretty decent. The problem is, half the time, we can't hit anything. Which is why, I, I like I said, I think we just need to raise our agility. I think that needs to be our focus. Kill a bunch of stuff, get a couple levels, raise our agility, and then I think we'll be in a much better, much better spot. Get wrecked, Nick Sound. We didn't, like, accidentally change our difficulty or anything, right? It's just feeling a little too easy all of a sudden. No, we're still on 7 for level 2, right? We are level three. I think I'm supposed to be on difficulty nine then, because I said three for every level, right? Maybe we leveled up and I forgot to put it up, or maybe I'm just bad at math. Oh, I know what it was. I wasn't originally counting level one, but that's fine. We'll put it on nine. We moved a bunch of stuff, then went outside, right arm started hurting and such. Did you, were you having a stroke or is it heart attack? The heart attacks your left arm, right? Because that's the side your heart's on. Look, I don't know, man. <laughs> Are you okay, though? Did you also get a hematoma in your arm all of a sudden? Noodle did call me immediately. This is true. The first thing I knew why she called me, like, right away. I knew. So I was, the first thing I said whenever I picked up the phone when she called me was, not like the bone or anything. <laughs> 
And then I had to explain to her what happened. And then she didn't want to let me off the phone, even though I told her, like, look, I'm working right now. I can't really talk. But you know how she is. Just can never get off the phone with her. Terrible. You text your woman that you broke your arm one time. And they just won't, won't let you hear the end of it. It's the arm you make toast with. So, wait, that's stroke then, right? Because <laughs> that's the stroke thing. When If you start randomly smelling toast, uh, call the hospital because you're having a stroke. I think that's how that works. Obviously medical professional here. I know what I'm talking about 100%. <laughs> Do you get pain in your arm? I don't even know if you get pain in your arm when you're having a stroke or not. I know, like, heart attacks you normally do, but I, I don't know stroke if it does anything or not. Okay, I think we're going to keep following this path. You were concerned about me? Well, I'm glad... Well, I'm not glad you were concerned about me, but... <laughs> I'm glad you care enough about me to be concerned. There we go. How about that? Does that work? Is there anything else around here? Or... No, doesn't really look like it, huh? Looks pretty dead. Except for inside, but... I mean, we have some health now. We're not, like, one shot away from dying. Maybe we can actually kill a dude or two. I don't know if the experience scales at all based on what you're fighting. Or if it only matters if you hit something or not. I have no idea how that works. But we might as well try and see, right? Just hopefully they're not magic users, dude. Because magic fucks us up. Every time we've come across any kind of uh, mage, we're just screwed. I love you, of course. I care about you. Ah, I love you too, Noodle. Did you carry anything heavy with that arm? Butterfly Bruce may be a corner. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I, the air conditioner. The air conditioner weighed probably 75 to 100 pounds, somewhere in that range. It's hard to say exactly. I, it's not like it says real big on the side of the box, hey, this is 80 pounds or whatever. But um, I carried that with my right arm. And that's why, like, I'm assuming that's what did it. Because that's the literally the only heavy thing I had carried all day today. So, like, that's... Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. I can't even get my spell off. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Die, you bastard. Die. Yes, let's go. Get wrecked, dude. Steel dagger. Uh, can we just take everything? 207 out of 295. Hmm. Armor rating 8. Peril. Armor rating 12. Ours is better. And lighter. Armor rating 6. For the boots. 12. Ours is better. Greaves. Armor rating 6. Ours is probably better. Where's our greaves? Yep. Oh, also, do you see this armor rating down here? Six. We're wearing all this armor, but our armor rating six. Apparently, like, even if your armor is decent, um, your armor rating can still be shit. It just depends on how much, like, what your armor rating is, like... Plops, Rue tired, but since Rue doesn't need to work tomorrow, Rue wants to stay up. Aw, <laughs> thanks, Rue. If you gotta go, though, man, I get it. Nope, let me get off 360p. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It could also be Twitch is having issues, so it could be could be Twitch and not you. It's hard to say. Anyways, all of our armor is better than this stuff, but we're gonna take it all. I might as well dispose of the corpse, too, but still can't read it. Yeah, I mean, it's also really small. And it says six. Yeah, why would I... <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to sit here and lie to you about what the armor rating down there is. <laughs> like, that seems kind of ridiculous. Yeah, our light armor skill is only 36. So, apparently that's another thing we need to work on getting up. This dude apparently is armored decked out. Oh, God, dude. 
This is gonna be too close. This is too close. Please die. Please die. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're getting the hell out of here. Chitin short sword. All of your armor sucks. Is any of our armor below 12? Just our pauldrons, and they're six. Everything else is 12. Good to know. Can we still walk? We can. Oh, ho, ho. Hold on. Real broadsword? We're not going to be able to move. Oh, God. Literally can't move. <laughs> okay. Um, value 10, weight 8. That sucks. Get rid of. Get rid of. Value 35, weight 12. That's a little bit better. 7, 12, 22, 4, 12. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else here that just sucks? Pants, who cares? Common pants, who cares? Same with the shirt and the shirt. And the shoes. And another shirt. Okay. Hey, there's nobody else in here. We can loot this room real quick. Oh, gold. I will take. Thank you. Grave dust. How fancy. Uh, Take all. That stuff shouldn't weigh much. Ooh. Oh, it's heavy, though. Weight of 10? Hmm. Ash yam, we can take that. We can take the rat meat. Oh, nice. That's a uh, lockpick spell. Iron shield. Store intelligence. Bread. Drugs of some sort. I don't, I don't know what they do, but I'm going to take them. Another lockpick, Sujama. Swift swim, that could come in handy. Weight 20, value 40. It's not a great ratio, my guy. Is there a Dillic Brandy? That's good. Okay. Uh, what is... I wish there was, like, a way... to sort by weight or something like that. Okay, you know what? We like we basically never use the one fire. We should probably just get rid of the firewood. We might be able to make better use of it though as well. But that's so much weight right there. We have health potions. Nah, I need to like we need to, like, go get more. I think there's somebody in there. We need to go sleep is what we need to do. We need to go sleep so that we can save. Oh, God. Run away. Run away. Just run away. We don't have the health for it. Run away. <laughs> Respect the Tommy Chong approach to Morrowind. Wait, what? What I do? Did I do some stoner shit? <laughs> I don't know, man. Sometimes I do stuff and I don't know. <laughs> oh god, he's swinging at us too. Um. Okay, is this the way out? That's the way out. He doesn't follow us outside, right? Thank fuck. Wait, what? Why am I over encumbered? Oh, I had plus. Oh shit! From my from my meal, I had extra strength. Damn it, dude. Um. Okay, so we're gonna need to drop more stuff. I mean, I guess we don't need all this food, but like, I want to sell it. <laughs> I want money. Racer plumes. Uh, da 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 da. We need to drop more stuff. Anything that's not worth anything. What are you? I'm a rating six. Resist frost? Mm, no. <laughs> Any extra weapons? Choco, I forgot to react to it in Discord, but I appreciate it. Ah, oh, I didn't see. Oh, is that the thing you were looking at in the in the car noodle? Because I totally forgot. I saw that Chocobo posted something and totally just forgot to look and see what it was. 
Steel Saber is not bad. It's worth more than the Iron Longsword. Okay. We can move now. Can we... Can we set up tent here? I don't know. Let's try. Ooh. Oh! We can't... Aww. Oh. No, we can't. <laughs> Never mind. Well, what we can do, though, we can't save. But we can at least... Take a health potion. Maybe. Somewhere. Here we go. We're going to need to get more of these at some point. Okay, I, I do want to explore the rest of that place, but I don't trust myself not to die. I mean, we're pretty fast. We'll probably be okay. We can fight that dude that was like right there in the entrance, at least. Actually, pull out the Ring of Medusa's gaze, because where are they? Get wrecked, dick. Ow. You should rest and meditate on what you've learned. Level up, dude. Let's go. And you dead. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. 1235 is pretty good. We can't carry it, though. <laughs> okay. The probes and lockpicks. We can take them. We may or may not come back for your body at some point, friend. Okay, now I'm assuming that's everyone now, except for the people that were in, like, this one... This room right here. Or is there another room that we haven't been in yet? Oh, dude, yeah, there's a couple rooms. This place is bigger than I thought. Did I tell you you're going to have new ears next Friday? Oh, <laughs> new hearing aids, I'm assuming you mean? Not literally new ears? Bro, wasn't there someone in here last time? Get wrecked. Why are your lips still able to move, dude? You were stunned. Ow, was that magic? Is there magic on your blade? Bruh, you need to die, yeah. That was almost bad, okay. Firebite dagger. Fire damage three to five points for one second. So it's not great, but it's probably worth something, right? Value, oh, seven, really? No, you're not worth shit. I mean, I'll take you. You're, you're worth shit. Just not, not very much shit. Uh, rings aren't worth a whole lot either. Ooh, chest level five. Uh, I don't know how... Lockpick. Lockpick? Apprentice probe. What's the difference between apprentice probe and lockpick? And the journeyman's lockpick. Okay, well, probe seems to be lower quality, so let's use that first. I think you just do this. You just do this over and over again until it works, I guess? I think. Are we doing it right? <laughs> I, don't, I literally don't know if we're doing it right. Uh... Does it need to be a lockpick? Wait. Uses 25. Yeah, so it's like it never got used. Okay, let's try the lockpick. Maybe the... Okay, yeah, this is working. So the probe must be for something else. The Wolf Queen. Ooh, mercantile skill increased, huh? Uh, you have value, actually. Let's take you. And you. Cheap Potion of Shadow? That's actually pretty cool. There's still enemies nearby, apparently. That sucks. To be honest, I don't know, like, how it works in this game. 
Even if we kill everybody, I'm not sure. Why did I just get a well-rested message? Anyways, even if we kill everyone in the area, I'm not sure if that message will go away or if it will always say there are enemies nearby because we're in, in like a hostile zone. Tankered pitcher. I think there's, yeah, another chest here. Nothing worth anything. I'm scared to do anything. Because if we die, we're fucked. Yeah, so we haven't been in there yet. Or have we? No. Hold on. <laughs> I can't remember. Is this the one that had the way down? No, that's yet another room we haven't been in, but there's a way down there. Okay, let's go ahead and check this room. Oh, it's locked, huh? There was definitely a noise that just came from that door. I'm assuming we get some sort of skill from this as well. From lockpicking. If it decides to work. It's probably going to break on us before we get this. And then hopefully I'm done with that place forever and you can go back to your regular place. I hope so. Yep, it's broke. Okay. I mean, we do have more lockpicks. But we also have that magic spell, though. So we could just use that. Oh, speaking of magic spells, we have this. It's not very much healing, but we might as well use all of the healing it'll give us. There's no downside to it other than it taking a moment to work. And then we have... Is it Beggar's Nose? No. Tower Key. That's it. Okay, so we unlock the door. Let's get the Medusa's Gaze back and uh, get the right weapon equipped. Is it just a rat? How is this rat not dead? Is this a super rat? What's wrong? Oh, we're thirsty. That's fine. We can deal with that. That's easy enough. Somewhere. Hot water catcher. Water jug. Rhetoric guards? <gasps> New armor! Oh, it's medium armor. Damn, I got exp excited. Okay, this stuff's worth money, dude. We might need to do a couple trips between here and some sort of town. We can't use any of this stuff, but it's worth money. How far away is town from here? Uh, okay. Currently working on a pride avatar. I hope this looks good. Uh, avatar for what? For Twitch? Or do you do, like, VR chat or something? What kind of avatar? This big room kind of scares me. Just because I can see how big it is. Also, if we've never been in it, why is it highlighted? Like, shown. That's weird. I'm a little scared. Hopefully, hopefully we don't die. If there's just one... Oh god, oh god, dude. The game, like, froze up on me. Wow, oh, not enough charges. Okay, let's just go. Let's just leave. We can come back. This place isn't going anywhere. This place will be here the next time we come here. But let's just, with what health we have before we die, let's just get to town, sell off the shit, get a save in, since we'll be in a safe space. Also, it's getting late anyways. 
can't rest here now. Well, yeah, I know. I get that. But I just want to know what time it is. There we go. Oh, yeah. 9 p.m. Holy shit, dude. Wait a second. Are you telling me this right here is a safe space? That's all the farther we had to go? We just couldn't be on their property? Bruh. Okay. Well, rest. Ascended to level four. Let's go. Okay. We want agility. And we don't use much magic. Strength is always good. And then speed or personality. Having people like us more would be nice, but right now I'm more worried about just not dying as much. So let's get speed. And then we can save because we slept. Uh, you know what? Let's go back in and just try to murder people. We can always do a couple runs back and forth for for the loot. But if we can at least get the people killed, not only is that experience for us, but also it'll be safer whenever we come back. I'm just hoping that people stay dead in this game for a little while. I don't know how that works here. Oh shit, we're probably hungry and thirsty and shit, huh? Yeah. Oh, that was the catcher. Water jug. And food. Some greens and some meat. And we should be A-OK. -okay. Yes. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's go. Can I make the game a little bit brighter by any chance? For my own sake. I'm sure it'd also be nice for you guys, but honestly, for my own sake, I would like it to be just a little bit brighter. Fade start, bounding sphere, minimum material. No. Uh, hmm. Gamma. There we go. I hope that's not too bright, but it looks pretty decent to me. How's it look on Twitch? A little bit better, maybe. Just put a lamp by your monitor. Yeah, obviously, dude. <laughs> still dark as fuck. I know. It's still pretty dark for me, too, but I think that's just the game. I'll turn it up a couple more clicks, but I don't want it to be, like, too bright outside and stuff whenever it's, like, daylight. You know what I mean? I'm not sure... I, I, the game needs one of those test screens, like what, you know, games have uh, commonly on, on PlayStation and shit like that. Like, adjust your your TV to so you can see this here, but not this here, or whatever. That sort of thing. Tell Lele we need a pride bee? That's a good idea, honestly. I like the idea of a rainbow bee. See, I think it's too bright now, man. Because, like, the UI is starting to look a little weird to me. We'll, we'll do... What I have it on before, like there? Yeah, like that looks better. Just UI-wise, one up. But whatever, it's fine. We'll just put it here. Put it here and hope for the best. Are there... More people in here? I think everybody's dead. So we're allowed to sleep in here now. Ooh, 10 gold. Did I actually pick that up? I did. Well, in that case, we can run around. We can hop around. Let's go, dude. I wonder downstairs. There's probably going to be enemies downstairs, though, right? When a hater comes in, we spam them with bees. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't attack people with bees. That's mean. It's random cups. A candle. Do -do -do. Uh, hound me. It doesn't look too good, to be honest. Rings. Take the rings. They're not worth a ton, but... Okay, everything here sucks except for the dead guards. The dead guards are pretty decent, but... 
Are you your worth stuff? Take. Uh, okay. We're gonna need to go before we get too heavy. Which we're pretty close to being too heavy already. Bees! Oh, Bessa. <laughs> we'll attack them with Bessa. <laughs> Um, I don't know who Bess oh Basasa actually not even Bessa Basasa. Oh wait, there's an enemy in here. The game lied to me. Did the rat respawn from the the dungeon with the the Redoran guards in it? I think that's what happened. Or the Red Guard guards, whatever. The people. Okay, what's in here? Not instant death, so that's a thing. Are there people here, though? We've never actually had the chance to, like, explore a, a building before, because we always just died too quickly. It's our first opportunity to actually, like, explore. You're a wizard. We don't fight wizards yet. We'll fight wizards later. Right now, wizards scare me. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back to town. Going to go back to town. We're going to sell our wares. Khajiit, Khajiit has wares. And we would like to sell them. And uh, then we'll come back and, and maybe explore the next level too and loot more of these bodies and pick up the shit we drop like see the game seems too bright to me now honestly god just looking on my second screen though at how dark the fucking everything was though hold on can i what happens if i do that nothing okay I seen if I could change. No. Oh my god, dude. As soon as I clicked on the game, it got so much brighter. I seen if I could change the uh color space for the uh for the full screen capture like I can with my my capture card capture. I cannot. Cuz I think that might be pro part of the problem. Because honestly, the game looks brighter to me on here than it does on stream. Out of curiosity, though, what happens if I just like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Does it do anything? Yeah, that's so weird, dude. Like on my screen, it changes stuff. But on the capture, it's not changing anything. Like, it still looks the same for you guys as it does when it was all the way down here. So I guess it doesn't matter what I have the gamma set to. The game's just going to look how it's going to look. On stream, that is. That's odd, dude. It must be like... I don't know. I don't know how that works. <laughs> is it changing the gamma of the monitor? I wouldn't think so. I'm assuming this place to the north has a better shop that we could go to. Do we have an easy way there and back to here though? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, dude. That's weird. I didn't even know that was a possibility. <laughs> like, changing brightness in-game, not changing it on the capture. That's wild. You, that's where we're going. Where's the road? Okay, that dude seems to be stuck in the terrain, so we're just going to leave him be. Hey, axe skill increase. Nice. My mouse is gone. There it is. We need to get there before our uh, strength wears out, because 
I'm pretty sure we're carrying too much. We'll come back and fight these Nyx Hounds in a moment. And you. We'll come back and fight you in a moment, too. I need to offload all my junk. Uh, I don't know. Road is road. Probably doesn't matter which one we follow. Why am I picking up shit, dude? My inventory's so full. Don't be picking up shit. Oh, hi. I didn't know Nick Sound was following me, too. All right, we can fight you real quick. We have no stamina, so... Bruh, come on. Just <laughs> hit the dude. For God's sake. Bro! Okay. Thank fuck. You're not dead! You must not be charging up quite the fool. Because we never had this much trouble one-shotting these little dudes before. Okay. Now go! Post haste! To the shops, please. Or where I hope shops are. I guess I don't actually know if there's any over here. What are you? Ancestral tomb? Nope, that means ghosts and other mean things. That's what that means. We're just going to stay out of there for now. Should we try? We've only leveled up once. But I'm feeling frisky, dude. <laughs> I kind of want to try doing our mission again. After we empty out this uh, place we were just in. Like make a couple trips there. And then back here to sell our stuff off. Assuming they have shops. After we do all that, I think we're going to have to go back and try our mission again at the Caldera Mines. Oh, you know what? We should have went to the town closer to the place that we were just at. Because even if uh, they don't have any proper shops there, what they do have is a boat. And that boat probably could have brought us to here. Okay, seriously? I was going to say, how can I not jump that height, my guy? Veranda's Keep? Top level? Okay, but are these people... Oh, God. Game. Why? Why are you always like this? Okay, there we go. It's like, dude, let me jump out. So wait, is this another... Oh, it's just a Nick sound. Is this another one like the place we were just exploring? Like, is it one of those types of places? Or is it... Just like someone's fancy bar? What is this? So the town's actually farther than what I thought. Because I thought that place was the town from a distance. But tis not. Tis not indeed. Hmm. Well, when we go back to the place we were at, maybe we'll uh, get a look at it from a different angle or something. Screw you, rat. The guy that I was watching play this on YouTube a little bit, he used a mod that gave him infinite stamina. I'm not going to use it because it seems too cheaty to me. But my god, does that sound amazing. Dude, I'm going to have to use... I was going to say I'm going to have to use Medusa's gaze on a rat. But you know what I can just do instead? Just run the fuck away. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm actually going to do. I'm just going to leave. Say fuck that dude. Because that dude's going to try and murder us. Wait. What? Why? Why, Noodle? <laughs> that's That's my singular question to you, love. Why do you keep finding potatoes on the floor? Speak, traveler. A knob stole my pants? I was taking a bath and a knobla somsi stole my pants. Maybe you could talk to him and get my pants back. Okay. 
That explains why you're just chilling in the water without your pants. Picked up two straight in the bag and then found another. My guess is the cat. And we all know which cat. But my guess is the cat. Oh yeah, kill the rat. Kill the rat. Kill the rat. I thought they were coming for me for a second. I was like, dude, I didn't do anything. Why are you gonna kill me? But no, they're going for the rat. Is this a trade house? It is. I like your decor. Are you the trader? Uh, join the Imperial Legion Necromancy. I don't you think people's going to like us too much if we just go around and start asking about necromancy. These buildings look so much nicer than the ones we've been in before. Persuasion, House Lalu, Imperial Cult. Uh, nothing? Okay. Well, oh shit, we got skooma and stuff on us, don't we? Uh, skooma... Maybe not. Maybe it's just Sujama. There you go. Let me just set the illegal drugs on your floor real quick so we can trade. You have 400 gold. That doesn't seem like a ton, but it'll be enough for me to offload some of my stuff. Like, Okay, what will be enough for me to offload if something, hopefully. Do you buy anything? You don't even buy rings? Dude. Surely, like, a pawn shop would buy rings. Or do you just sell food? No, you have, like, knives and stuff. What do you mean you don't buy rings? Stone flower. I mean, I don't know. I still need to look into how all the crafting works in this game. Because I, I, I still don't understand that part. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I think we can cook eggs. Marshmallow, uh, that's part of the recipe for health potions, I think. Even though I don't really know how that works. Um, Burglar's Bane, that's like, whatever. Bread is food. I don't know what you are, we'll sell you. Restore health, I want to keep. Quality, fortify, agility. Um, oh, you don't buy potions. Or brandy. Okay, you kind of suck, dude. Just being real with you. You're kind of shit. Do you have anything that I care about? Probably not then, huh? Cooked mushrooms? I mean, more food is nice, but I can just cook my food. I have a bunch of it myself. Yeah, no, I don't think you have anything I care about, actually. Uh, sure, I'll just take your 100 gold. And then, do you do water by any chance? You do not do water. And you're not a trainer. Okay, you're kind of useless. Goodbye. Surely there's another... Yes? ...shop in this town somewhere. Okay. Didn't expect the trade house to have, like, barracks and stuff in it. There are many creatures beyond the cities. I'm going to quick save just because I think we can read books without it being illegal. We just can't take them. Yeah, okay. I thought so, but which cat? You know which cat. I don't even have to say. Training. Athletics? Eh. Your Screw it. Should be taken. I, let you know. I know my wounds need treated. Hush. So how much money do we have now? Seven hundred and twenty nine. I don't wanna I don't wanna waste it all on athletics though. Although that probably is an agility skill, so it's not a terrible idea. Speak, traveler. Let's go back to the top. Uh, is there any more shops in town. These random stalls look like shops. You in armor? You also repair stuff. Does any of my stuff need repaired? It does. Oh, nice. Okay. Is there a repair all? Well, I guess some of the stuff I probably want to sell, actually. So hold on. Barter first. Apparel. 
sell. Sell. Sell both. You have a fair amount of gold on you. Sell, sell, sell. Sell. Buy rings. Buy amulets? No. Ah, uh, the cursed ring. You probably don't buy that either, huh? Do you buy weapons? You do. Firebite dagger. I want to keep my fishing pole, my bow. That's probably it. And the, all of this other stuff either doesn't have a uh, condition or is perfect, so. Thankfully, it's not expensive. Holy shit, yeah, that one's about to break, dude. Okay, that's fine. Demon Tonto's fine. Our battle axe could use a bit, though. The bow's fine. Then I don't suppose you have water or anything? You do not? Do you have anything we want to buy? We didn't actually look at that. Probably should have done that before we fix all our stuff, but... Rating 8. Light 12. We need something better than 12. Honestly, more than anything, I guess we just need to raise our skill. Because our armor's decent, I feel like. We just don't have any skill with it. Not very skilled armor wearers. <laughs> um... Tavani Bug Musk. Tavani Bug Musk is an expensive perfume made from the scent glands of Grazeland beetles. Gross. Okay. The substance is the substance is sold in sealed flasks and appears as a dark red-brown paste. The subtle but compelling fragrance is attractive to all mortal races and all sexes. Even a barbarian can be persuasive wearing this perfume. That sounds one nasty and two kind of like snake oil, dude. I don't. I don't think I believe you. I'm surprised you don't sell water. You do sell drugs, though. So that's interesting. Will you buy rings and amulets? You will. Man, you must hate me or something. Oh, never mind. That expensive amulet isn't worth as much as I thought. Uh, Cyrodiilic Brandy, though. Store Intelligence. I don't think we need that. Disease will keep. Fortify Agility could definitely come by in a pinch. And Fatigue. Don't need the Sheehan stuff. Potion of Shadow, Potion of Swift Swim. We probably don't need those. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, no, we picked up a couple books. Yeah, I give you the books, dude. Books are expensive as shit, man. Okay. Uh, offer. Thank you for that. Goodbye now. Almost done with it, holy hexed. I hope it comes out well, dude. I'm gonna quick save again. The game's acting a little funny. The FPS seems to be dropping a bit. Mask of Vivek. Vivek's ash mask is a holy relic displayed within the shrine of the Nissus Temple. Programs travel from all over Morrowind to view this sacred artifact. It's fancy, what do you sell? Uh, shitty clothes? Yeah, that's literally it. Okay, well. Goodbye. These appear to be houses. What is this? That's the temple? Uh, maybe like... Missing out, Mander, but make it quick. Repair? What do you want? Is there like a trainer in the temple? Someone that can teach me like magics or... Uh, alchemy or anything like that? 
there's a spell crafter, but we don't have any like spell craft cra uh, spell crafting isn't really worth it for us at the moment. I feel like because we can't actually like cast any spells. So what's the point? At some point, we'll get decent with it. Which why I was hoping to find a trainer in here. Like that tapestry. Aha, you. No, you don't care either. Hmm. Okay. So you're all useless to me. Stealing. Not trying to steal. Shadows, man. They scare me. Spell making. Fortify health. Spell chance 23. 23% chance. It's cheap, but like it's never gonna work. We would have to just like stand in one spot casting spells forever. And I guess technically that would be a way to get your skill up, right? Uh, no. No. I mean, a self-healing spell would actually be really nice, though. Do you have, like, a pre-made one that's good? Blood gift? Fortify health. Fortify health is fine. Power swell? That's cool. Absorb health. That's cool. We can be vampires. Or get, like, the v vampiric thing. Vivex, mercy, wisdom. Uh, okay, no. Spell making, though. Oh, this is fortify health, not restore health. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Never mind. So I'm assuming we have to... I think the way the magic works is, like, once you learn a restore health spell of any kind, then you can spell craft healing spells, etc. I think. I'm probably wrong, but I think it roughly works that way. Hello. Citizen. Who are you? We're an ordinator. Very, very nice. Okay. Um. And you won't tell me anything else other than you're an ordinator. Very well. Off we go then. I, th I thought <laughs> thought he'd have something interesting to tell us. I almost quick take. Don't steal, especially right in front of a dude like that man. <laughs> like, just steal his his holy book while he's staring at us. Oh, can't we be like blessed by one of these? I don't know what any of them do, but Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Sure. Um, give me Realm's Grace, I guess. What does Realm's Grace do for us? We're thirsty and hungry. Endurance. For the next 50 minutes. Ah, cool. We talked to you already? We did. Okay. Off we go. So we didn't find the trainer I was hoping to find, but we did find some interesting stuff. This building looks cool. What are you? You like an outside dining hall or something? Cave dwelling? Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool, dude. I like this place. Honestly, this is a pretty neat town in general. All right, local version of the map. Did we miss... Anything, really? It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> More cave dwellings. They just look like random houses. Yeah, I guess they only have, like, the one real shop in town. And then the street vendors. There's nothing wrong with that, but... Not exactly what I was hoping for any either. Uh, I was gonna ask for beds, but... We make a special trip just for I don't see... 
I don't see anywhere we could possibly get a bed from either. What's this? This is a fancy looking house. Are you like... Why did I not hear that? Did it make a sound for you guys? I didn't hear Bo at all. Weird. Anyways, Bo looks cute though. It did for you? Okay. Weird. Yes. Okay, I didn't see what this was. Oh, it's the barracks. You kind of like her, right? She's cute, I think. The stream, I just noticed, is way behind for me on my monitor, though. That I have it up on? Let me refresh it. Maybe it'll catch up a little bit. It's like, Bo's still looking old on my... There we go. <laughs> on mine. Hmm... Well, shoot. World map. I guess we're just going to camp and then go back. Fight well. Go back down to there. Keep exploring. Uh, uh, and our Seth Steph. Are we far enough from town to camp? Isn't this combat music? Oh, no, it says we can heal, so... Exposure increasing rapidly. Is it raining? What are we being exposed to? Sleep. Sleep. Oh. Sorry, I thought we were far enough outside of town. I didn't get the message about... Rusting being illegal. There you go. This is a nice little... Okay. This is a nice little flat spot here is what I was trying to say. Sleep. What do you mean? How is sleeping here illegal? We are outside of town. What about here? I don't like that Nick sound right over there, but like... Is it just illegal to sleep around here? Is that the problem? Okay, well, you know what? I know where we can sleep at. I didn't want to use our last healing potion. But there's all those beds back at that place we were. So we can just go there and have a nap. I am going to throw a quick save down, though, just because, again, it seems like the game's starting to act up a little bit. And I don't want to risk the game crashing on us. Uh, just eat bread. Should be able to get some water from here. You get wrecked. Cliff racer. Some very pretty water. What are you? Oh, you're those weird crab things. We saw you before. I don't <laughs> I don't understand what you're meant to be. Fill your containers with water. Let's go. Bro, that dude doesn't even want to fight me. Okay. No more cookies for Bo, only carrots? But Bo likes cookies. You are chilly? Wait, is it cold out here? Is that what our exposure was increasing from? The cold. Ah. Is it just because we're wet, or is it actually cold out? I don't know. It's overcast. <clears throat> I didn't see the actual temperature pop up at any point, though. Oh, did Bo lose the battle? See, I didn't even realize... You're wizards! 
Run from the wizards! What did we do to the wizards? I guess we just got too close to them. <laughs> Screw that. Wizards are scary. I will potentially fight them. Ow. After we get to a safe space to save. This will not go unnoticed. You will go to just... Oh, are they still yelling at me? Is that what's going on? Okay, well, I don't really care about that. They can yell at me all they want. I've got places to be, people to see. And elitist. <laughs> this landscape is so pretty, man. Honestly... The, a lot of the game mechanics don't hold up too well. But in a lot of ways... This game... I like the setting, at least, I guess is what I'm saying. A lot more than I like Skyrim. I, I'll fight the next one. There you go. Yeah, screw you. Dude, they really do... <laughs> they just follow you until the end of time in this game, don't they? Are you friendly? Huh, I guess you are friendly. Oh, cool. I'm not trying to fight you anyways. I was just curious. Oh, oh. Lee Gucci. Rose, give up. <laughs> what are you doing? Leave me alone. <laughs> What? I didn't even do anything to them. I just walked past them, and now they want me dead. They're still falling. How did they climb up that mountain? I struggled to climb up that mountain. How did they do it so easily? Do, 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 do. Follow me in here, bitches. Bet you can't do that. Uh, okay, good. The bodies are still here. Ooh, buddy. Uh, the Red Guard people, they have better gear. So I actually want to steal their stuff. And then we'll sleep in one of these beds. Oh, damn. That is, that is way too zoomed out. There we go. That's good enough. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. Yeah, it's weird that the rats, like, respawn so quickly compared to everything else. I wonder if the people ever respawn or if it's just the, the creatures. All right, so 15 to 48. That is more than double. But do you have anything better? 16, 100, you do. So bone mode boots. 13, 200. 4 to 50 is pretty good. 24, 360. That's pretty good. 8 to 140. Okay, so pretty much everything is good except for the weapon. I mean, the weapon's not bad. Extravagant gloves are good. And shirts. Shoes are meh. Nice. 1 to 30. 1 to 40. 1 to 40. I need light stuff. You're too, too heavy. Four to 165. Eight to 140. Okay, that's gonna have to be it. You all had the same stuff, right? Yeah. Now let's take a nap and then we'll go upstairs. Were there beds in this room? 
No. Just saw a post that said it's unsticking your thighs from plastic chair season. Ain't that the truth? I know, man. It's been so hot lately. During the day. It's been nice at night. Like, we got all the windows open now, but holy shit, man. Not gonna lie, my back be a little sweaty right now, dudes. Okay, let's get a nice full night's rest. Very nice. We're going to need a drink, I'm sure. Always gotta get a drink first thing in the morning. Eat some food. Now go upstairs and kick some ass. You just changed it everywhere? Like everywhere, everywhere? Uh, save, because we forgot to do that. After resting. I can't see it that well. It's like, it's too small for me to really see, but it looks good, dude. It's very cute. Looks like a pride shirt or dress. I can't really tell with how small it is. And then like a witch's hat style thing. <laughs> it's cute, dude. I like it. It's very cute. Right? <laughs> it is. It's really cute, dude. I, uh, If you want, you don't have to, but if you want, feel free to post like full-sized. Get a better look at it. Only if you want to, though. Don't feel like you have to. Oh, good. You're ready for me. Ow. Ow. Dude. Ah, that's why we don't fight wizards. Oh, shit. We leveled up, too. I forgot. Um, preferences. Okay. But yeah, that, that's 100%. That's the exact reason why we don't fight wizards. <laughs> wizards are evil, man. I'm going to try again, but I don't... He took, like, three quarters... More than three quarters of our health with one hit. Like... Okay, get the ring ready. Oh, he missed. He missed again. He's also resisting all of our magic. Oh, good. He's using a weapon now. He must be out of magic. Let's go. Get wrecked. Maybe. Why can we not hit you? Please don't regain any magicka. Okay. We Gucci, dude. Chit and War Axe. Uh, we do use axes, but ours is better. And the weight to value sucks. All of your weight to value stuff sucks. Or all of your stuff sucks in that regard. Okay. Let's go. Okay, is there anyone else up here? Death to the wizard. Yes, dude. Honestly, we got really lucky that he missed with all of those attacks. Dude, honestly, dagger users are lethal, man. Because they can, like, stun you. And they can attack so quickly. And still do full damage. They be rough. Alright, your, your gear sucks. Is there anything up here? Is there a reason for us to come up here? Other than dying... God, it must go up higher. You're another wizard with the death spell. Okay. I'm going to just run the other direction because I just want to uncover this on the map. But we not fighting another wizard, dude. Unless... Okay. That was close. That almost hit us. Run away! Run away! Are you out of spells? No, you're not! Now you are. How are you better with an axe than I am? Huh! Oh my god, dude. Silver Viper Axe. Poison 3 to 7 points for 1 second on touch. It does 10 less damage. 
but gets three to seven poison damage. Value 150. I think we're gonna have to leave it, dude. Um, and then did we end up using our last healing potion? I think we did, sadly. We did. We can get a tiny bit of health back with... Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Engraved Ring of Healing. They have a burn book Kindle case? <laughs> did you tell everyone what your, uh, what new, new shirt you're buying or sweatshirt you're buying, Noodle? She was super excited about it. Uh, not the cursed ring. Reduces gaze. That's what we want. <laughs> she is super excited about it. Yep. No, we're just leaving, dude. I don't. I don't think there's anything else here that we care about that much, man. Oh, it did ship finally? That's awesome. Yeah, we we did everything we set out to do by coming here, man. We we got some some gear worth some money. I would love to take more of it with me, but now fuck that rat, man. And this rat's gonna end up killing me. I just know it. Did you resist it? Oh, it doesn't have enough charge. Thank God, we didn't die to the rat. You think Rue needs to sleep? You need to go to bed. Have a good night, dude. Thank you for coming and hanging out while you could. I do appreciate it. We're not going to be on too much longer ourselves. I just saw what time it was. <laughs> like, so we're only going to be on like another 9-10 minutes anyways. I think what we're going to do is get a full night's rest here. Go to... the closest town or maybe we hmm, we need to get back to caldera so we can go to the caldera mine but i don't know the quickest way there because i do want to try our mission again real quick are fuckwads still following me they are dude waste all your magic I don't mind trying to fight you guys. Oh shit, I forgot to save. you. I don't mind fighting you once you guys don't have magic, but... Magic is bullshit. Oh my god, dude. There's too many of them. Oh my god, dudes. I have no freaking stamina. Of course they're going to resist the magic. They're freaking mages. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're dead. <laughs> oh my god. I can't move. Okay, use the ring. Get out of my way! I want to hit this one that's frozen. I'm dead. Son of a bitch, dude. You all suck. Are you close enough for me to hit? You are. If I could just kill one or two of them so they couldn't get so many hits on me so rapidly. Why, dude? Uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, first off, we didn't eat or drink. That's not helping anything. 
Okay, love. So let's do that. Um, I don't have any cooked food. Or is this poison? Cool. Did that get rid of our hunger? At least it did. Okay. Now, quick save inside, because that's what we should have done to begin with. I just fucked up. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Potion? Fortify agility? We have fortify fatigue. Restore. Oh, fortify agility, whatever. I'm not surrendering my life to anyone. What I need is for you guys to die. It is insane how much stamina changes battle, dude. Let's go, you dick. One more hit. Let's go. Screw you guys. I don't know why you guys were mad at me to begin with, but you're all dead now. Nothing. Nothing. You guys had shields, so why weren't you using them? Nothing. Oh, buddy. Okay. Well, we're alive. What is this? Oh, okay. It's our fortify agility wearing off. That's fine. So we need to go to there. I guess it's not that far. Because Narmok doesn't have a whatchamacallit. That lets us travel. Who's mad at us? There's definitely battle music going on, but I don't see anyone, so whatever. Give me a rat. Bubble Man 6, thank you for the follow, dude. Appreciate it. Dispose. Okay. Get back to Caldera real quick. I want to try that mission. The quest that we have. I don't I don't think it's gonna go so well, but we're gonna try it. If we don't die before we get there. Dispose of corpse. Uh, I don't want to fight you. Can we make it up this hill? I don't know if this hill is too steep for us to go up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay, it's too steep. Are you, like, stuck in the hill? Maybe we'll be okay. Oh, the sun's bright as shit. Oh, damn, can we even get up here? Oh, it's a rat. I wish we had some stamina. You're good. Okay. Dispose. I don't know where anyone's at. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna sneak for a moment, get a little bit of stamina back. Till we know what's over this hill. Uh, nothing of note. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's run. Get there a lot quicker if we run. Oh god. As soon as I say nothing of note. Please hit. Please hit. Please, please hit. Please hit. Oh my god, dude. Oh, he resisted. Okay. Okay, you're dead. Now, little guy? Come on, dude. Dude. <laughs> just... Just hit him! He's right there! Oh my lord. Okay. We're alive. 
please let us get back to town, man. Nope. Not dealing with it. <laughs> Anything we fight right now is likely to, to kill us. Not dealing with that. 229. Oh, shit. I don't think we're going to have a chance to try and do that mission tonight. But I'm going to get to Caldera at least. I'm going to try to get to Caldera at least. <laughs> is the better way to put it. I know that there's an enemy following me. I just wanted to see what time it was this game is good annoying thing is the melee dice rolls magic however always hits the target so i move from sword to mage yeah i i agree 100 <laughs> percent. like i love the setting of morrowind um it's really really nice compared to you know like skyrim for instance oh god um oh god and i i agree 100 that the dice rolls are the worst part about the game okay nope uh, but I let chat pick my race and then we did the, the little questionnaire thing to pick our class. So we ended up with an orc rogue <laughs> and while you can do magic, of course, as any race or class, um, yeah, I'm not very good at it <laughs> and it's still relatively early game. So I haven't done like any training or anything like that. So magic is Nope. <laughs> Not gonna happen right now. Because uh, all of the spells I have have, unless it's like a magic item, have like a 3 to 10% chance to hit. What's amazing to me is how far these creatures will follow you, dude. They will just follow you to the end of the earth without a care in the world. Besides going through a door, it doesn't seem like it's possible to get them off of you. <laughs> Which, you know, coming from, like, playing MMOs and JRPGs and I think even Skyrim, right? Like, things only had a certain distance they followed you? I think. It's been a while since I've played Skyrim, to, to be honest. But I don't remember things following you for this long. Do you? Nope, you will not fight. Okay, well, <laughs> that's fine. The Caldera Guards will, at least. Oh, did you finally... Nope, you didn't stop. What's annoying is these creatures are following me no problem. I just remembered, like... I don't know, one of the first times I played the game... We got uh, Rabina, the, the ex-slave, following us. And somehow we lost her multiple times... <laughs> as she was following us around. Like, how did we lose her, but this stupid creature can go up and down all of these hills, following us everywhere, no problem. That's crazy. Okay, we're, we're, we're almost there. We're so close, dude. Just need to get to Caldera, get a bed, and we'll be fine. Then we can save. So we don't have to worry about dying so much. Hopefully the guards don't struggle too much with this one lowly Nick sound. I don't have any healing spells that are worth anything. And self-imposed rules say I can't heal with uh, potions. Well, actually, I'm out of potions anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, yes, guard. Get him. Dude, thank you. I will take the meat, though. <laughs> I'll gladly do that. All right, I think it's right down here around the corner. The walking animations on some of these things are ridiculous. Is this it? I think so. Uh, no, that's the trader. This is it. Hello, you. I would like a bed, please. If you don't mind. I will gladly pay your ten gold. Speak freely. Oh, shit. Speak freely, friend. I've done that twice now, man. For some reason, I always think that's a, a bed that leads upstairs or something. It's not. Uh, no. It's up, up. Up here and... This one? Yes. 
bed. Rest. Uh, 20 should be more than enough. Huh. Thank goodness, dude. Okay. Let's get a proper save down. Save and save. So next time, then, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the Friday after next when we get to play again or if I'm going to do a random stream on, like, Wednesday or something of this. I definitely want to play more of it. Um, but I need to, at the very least, finish up my game of Grounded with, with, uh, Off to Jack with my brother. So, not sure exactly when we're gonna stream Morrowind again. Either, like I said, Friday after next, or possibly on Wednesday. We will see. But, uh, as for tonight, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me a little bit while I played some Morrowind. I had a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves as well. And, uh, until next time, have a good night, everyone. And thank you. Oh, and always... <laughs> fuck i every time every time i mess it up and as always be kind to each other good night y'all bye through of lord of the rings the third age i guess it began as just me playing it on the playstation 2 gauntlet where i'm trying to collect and stream a bit of every playstation 2 game but i really enjoyed this game and the stream seemed to enjoy it a bit as well so i wanted to play through some more of it and that's what we're doing we are going to pick right up where we left off, which was only a couple hours into the game, and see how much further we can get today. Probably about another two hours. <laughs>